welcome back to the channel my first outfits of the week of 2024 and a very special one my london fashion week outfits of the week <laughs> I had so much fun this week. It was my favorite fashion week I've ever done. So grateful for all of the opportunities and events that I went to this week. I'm clearly paying the consequences of it now. I think you can hear it in my voice. I've been ill for a fever the entire week post fashion week. It's been not good. I've just felt like crap too much running around not taking care of myself but it was worth it i guess i had a lot of fun i also want to say thank you to organic basics for sponsoring let's kick it off on tuesday when all of the fun started today's tuesday actually the first day of fashion week i've got two events tonight one of them is an hourglass event and then onto a peachy den expo bros event very looking forward to it didn't plan an outfit kind of rushing are we surprised not really this happens every single hour of the week i always have too much time i leave it to the last minute i actually think in the two minutes i took to choose my outfit i'm happy with it it's simple but effective that's what i would say the blue see-through top is from Max & Co. It's so soft, I love it. The skirt is My Mum Made It. The cargo is a peachy den. I'm going to a peachy den event, so I was like, I'm gonna try and wear some peachy. And then I've gone for my little pin. I felt like I needed something. No belts were working. I think I'm gonna wear my big coat from Jackie. I also just saw the time and <laughs> I need to leave. Then my hair, I've got in my Miffy clips and my spike earrings, some rings. <laughs> It's potato and, and caviar. One of the first and last time I've been eating caviar in my life. I'm boxing. I picked these too. Thank you so much to Organic Basics for sponsoring today's video. I have been a supporter of them and buying from them since 2020. I wear this brand weekly. I'm obsessed with their pieces. I love their ethos. They are a carbon neutral, Copenhagen based brand that use organic, recycled and eco-friendly materials. I've been loving them for years as you know and whilst I've been ill this week, wearing their underwear specifically has made my life so much better. The way that they seamlessly feel like butter on your skin, I forget I'm wearing underwear it's honestly been a dream my favorite piece from their core cotton intimates has to be their ribbed shorties I have these in two different colors I first chose the seaweed I love the silhouette of these bottoms they're so comfy and covering they work so well under bottoms where you want the top to be popping out as their elastic waistbands are so seamless they're so subtle I will say though I think my favorite is this gray colorway I'm really loving the shade of gray right now it's the 90s minimalism girl inside of me just trying to come out and stock up on these basics and I love these. These ones in particular I find are so great to wear out as mini shorts themselves. They would look really good as PJ shorts, shorts in the summertime with a little baby tee. Wearing these over tights like everyone's doing right now, it's a look and it's so good to do knowing that these are comfy and seamless. They're not bulky, they're just perfect. And I also have their cotton rib thong in grey. A classic again, so seamless as a thong should be. No complaints from me and their core underlined demi bra this is my new favorite bra i love the shape of it i love the fit it's underwired which is great for support yet it feels so comfortable and again it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a bra and of course their best-selling core triangle bralette i chose this vibrant blue one as it's my favorite color and as i'm loving navy at the moment it really complements so many pieces in my wardrobe and also pops against other pieces where you want your bra to be seen this bralette is wireless but the band underneath give you so much support it's crazy i again feel like i'm not wearing a bra when i wear this it's perfect and i also chose a couple loungewear athleisure pieces from their Lux touch collection the matching crop tee and bike shorts in black i love the way that these hug you in it's insane you feel so sculpted these are both made from a sustainable viscose blend and they make for really good working out pieces but also loungewear as well and side notes i've said this before before about how when brands have good packaging it makes me love 
the product even more. That's just me. And Organic Basics do the packaging so well. The ASMR of this like sustainable crinkle little pockets that each piece come in. I loved it. I had so much fun unboxing them. Random side note, but yeah, I love the packaging. And of course, I have a discount code for you. You can use code SUSILOLA10 across their entire website for money off. Everything will be linked down in the description, including each individual piece of mine that I showed you today. Honestly, a dream brand. I love them so much. Thank you to them again. Let's get back to the Fashion Week vlog. It's Thursday. Obviously, I'm not going out today to do things, hence the cozy outfit. I was actually filming this Missouri ad for the whole day for YouTube and Instagram and getting a bunch of work stuff done today. There's actually two events on today. There was something in the day, a kind of like presentation, but I thought I need to prioritize this ad because it has to go up as soon as possible. So I decided not to go to that. There's also a Converse party tonight and I'm so on the fence. I kind of think I'm not gonna go because it's already half six. Tomorrow is the Myth to Rate show. There's also another show a few hours later that I think I'm gonna go to. I think I'm going to that one alone. And then there's a party in the evening for ES Magazine. I think I'm gonna know people there, but none of my friends are going and I'm just now I'm gonna have to go by myself. I've been so anxious at the moment. And when I was at the Hourglass event the other day, kind of also at the peachy one, but I was just feeling so out of my depth and just uncomfortable and just like imposter syndrome and just, I don't know. I think I'd just been working the entire day up until I was leaving. My brain wasn't there. And I think I was expecting the event to be a bit more just like run in, chat to some people. And the event was so good for Hourglass. Like the vibes were just amazing, but I just felt so like not prepared and just like uncomfortable. And it was just, but I think because of that, I need to push myself outside my comfort zone, go to tomorrow night's event alone and tomorrow's fashion show alone the second one also i thought i'd come on here to do a little unboxing i'm pretty sure i know what this is i think it's what i ordered from depot okay first thing vintage karen millen little knit top this was the main thing that I wanted from this seller. This little buckle jacket. It's got those inner straps, which means you can shorten the sleeves to be like three quarter length, which I thought was really cool. It's got loads of pockets. Am I getting married? I don't know. I can't believe that I'm actually gonna be on a commuter train at like 9 a.m., half nine in this outfit. I actually can't. Luckily, Ray's joining me and we're gonna meet halfway. This is the incredible dress from Mr. Ray. It's really long. It trails at the end, which I think is phenomenal. I'm really excited for the show, can't wait. Boots, I opted for my DM Blade mini brown ones. To be honest, you can't even barely see them. And I kind of chose comfort. I was gonna wear these vintage boots because they're a bit more cute with like the heel and the pointed toe, but I was like, let's just prioritize getting one thing. One thing not being a stress, you know? If I can make my shoes comfortable because the rest of my outfit is a bit crazy and originally we were just gonna Uber the whole way there, Ray and I. We're not gonna do that. It's gonna be too stressful with rush hour traffic. It's also gonna be bloody expensive. So we're just like, let's just get the tube. Ow! I'm nervous. Then I'm also loaning a mystery coat. Beautiful, it's really big on me. This coat is stunning. It's got these insect, uh, I guess, brooches and like, the kind of cuff link buttons, it's all stunning. There's the other one. Bag, I was a little bit torn. I've kind of opted for my clutch, my button clutch. It's vintage, it's my mum's from God knows when. And the original brand is Aldo. Like it's so indiscreet. The color palette kind of works with the dress. Okay, I don't really have much time. So should we just take out this color? This is how I did it yesterday and it seemed to have worked. Oh. Oh no, actually, you know what? I think that's salvageable. Guys, I also did some lip stuff. I mean, who am I becoming? I don't I don't really know if I look like me. I think I'm having um, an identity crisis right now. I need to pack the rest of my stuff, get a wriggle on. It's giving friendship, it's giving love, it's giving vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's giving love, it's giving friendship, it's giving vibes. Have you seen that video that's like, oh, your friend with brain rot? And then... Was that you? This photographer home but <laughs> This photographer came up to us and got Polaroids. She's so sweet. It literally looks like my wedding day. <laughs> okay, show done. Beautiful show. Beautiful. 
and we're gonna go for some food and well that's it. That's it, that's it. That's about it. Oh my gosh, today was so fun. Like one of the most fun things I think I've done within this career. And it was definitely my favorite fashion week thing. I look ridiculous. What? This is right. I'm taking my shoes off. It was definitely the most fun fashion week related thing that I've done so far. You know what's wild is Kelly Rutherford was there, mother. She literally came in and I was like, hold the phone. And I said to the guy next to me, like, you watch Gossip Girl, right? Because like the mother of Gossip Girls just came in and she sat like a few sort of seats away. She was opposite Ray. And I was like, Ray, you literally got the best seat in the house. The show was so good. One of my favorite shows I've ever seen. There is, well, there was a show on this afternoon, kind of strange after for Mark Fast and I kind of prioritized staying with Ray to be honest and I didn't go. Maybe I'm gonna feel guilt for that because I don't have any other shows lined up. There is actually a show tomorrow was well, actually a presentation and I said I was gonna go ages ago and then I booked this pottery class for my friend's birthday and then I realized I double booked myself and I was like I'm so sorry but I'm so obsessed with this pottery class like, I really 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 want to go. Okay I'm gonna get out of this dress because the straps keep falling down. Back in my true form tomorrow I have a bit of a busy day. I'm gonna go to this pottery making class with Alex. I bought it for her for her birthday and we're gonna go pottery wheel throwing and we get to go away with the pottery that we make after it's been um, fired in the kiln. So I'm really excited for that, doing that tomorrow at 11 and then I'm gonna go straight from there to Jordan's podcast studio because I'm gonna be filming a podcast with, well recording, a podcast with Jordan. I'm just like so excited. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I assume a lot of fashion related stuff and then I have no plans tomorrow night. Sunday night, we're going to two events. I'm taking my boyfriend as my plus one, which is kind of cute. Got a high snobiety event at Village Underground and then a Sinead Gory X Ed Hardy event as well. We're going to try and do both and figure out the timings of everything and do both of them hopefully. I haven't planned any outfits for the rest of this weekend, so I'm going to try and do that this afternoon. Don't even know what I'm going to wear tonight. We're just going to put something together. I wanted to show you this that on our seat at the show, they had a fan obsessed and they scented it with perfume. It literally smells unreal. Oh, sorry. There we go. Stunning, stunning love. I love fans. Oh, that's good. And then I came back to a little parcel. I think I know what this is. Yes. It's Old Able Top Shop. I went on a big old Top Shop hunt online. I found this skirt. My aim, like with most things, was it to be sitting on the hips like this. So let's hope. And I put on a wash last night and now I don't have anything else to wash when I should have just waited and then I could have put this in the wash. Is it gross if I wear it this weekend and I don't wash it? Okay, I'm gonna crack on with my stuff and I will see you later tonight when hopefully I'm wearing a really cute outfit and I feel good and the vibes are good and everything's good. Good, 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 good. Right, I think it's time for me to leave. Guys, I planned this whole outfit and it's a really good outfit and I'm hoping I'm gonna wear it another day, maybe on Monday. Cause it was really, really cute. And I just kind of like, I think I was thinking of another magazine, not ES, aka Evening Standard Magazine. And I just was like imagining another magazine and I was planning my outfit a little bit too Gen Z, a little bit too casual, like kind of like casual cool girl. Then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna double check where I'm going tonight. <laughs> The Savoy. And I was like, I cannot actually turn up to the Savoy Hotel wearing what I was planning on wearing. Double checked that, oh yeah, it is evening standard. Yeah, this ain't gonna cut it. I was stressing out, okay? And I got some feedback from a brand deal that kind of upset me a little bit. I don't know, it's kind of pissed me off and just like, <laughs> kind of just sent me a bit of a mood. And then I just got really anxious and I was like, I can't do this. Like, I feel like crap. The event is way more lavish than I kind of thought in my head. I don't know. I, I must have got my wires crossed. But I talked myself into it. Like, the minute I leave that door, there's no turning back. Like, it's happening. So we're just gonna go and we're gonna see what happens. This is what I've gone for. Let me know what you think. Corset is, of course, me out. I think I just immediately thought of wearing this. And I'm wearing all PD Paola jewelry. Skirt is from Vinted. The original brand, I think, is Whistles. I think I've landed on my little DM Bay boots again. I feel like this is wildly casual and I don't know if it's gonna be the vibe. I'm worried I'm gonna get there and regret the shoes. My option are my Charles and Keith pumps. They do give me blisters. Oh, see, if I knew this was coming, I would have planned an outfit. I would have even rented a dress or something to make myself feel special. And it's just like literally 10 minutes before I thought I was gonna start getting changed to go. I double checked it all and realized that I clearly had the wrong memo for myself. Is there like a group chat I can speak to and say what what, what you guys wear? I think I'm gonna do the same clutch because I'm just in love with this clutch and I feel like a clutch 
It's the moment. Now I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm completely second guessing this whole idea. This dress from Sandro. Okay, I changed. I feel like this might be more of a safe option. What do we think? I don't really feel confident enough to go bare leg. Like, I'm just not, not in the mood for that. I'm really not. The short dress with the trap. I don't know. I feel a little bit like, <laughs> I don't know, a bit mature, which I guess is not bad for the event. Like, it's fine. I'm sure we're fine. I'm making such a big deal about it. I don't know how much of me freaking out about the event I'm going to leave in the video. I think I've just been feeling very weird within myself recently anyway. I feel like I'm just getting some self-love back to be honest, because I've not felt that confident with the way I look for a while. And I'm just trying to work on that. I need to go, like why am I still here chatting to you? I need to get a wriggle on. Hopefully you're about to see lots of fun footage from the event, lots of familiar faces, you never know. Lots of happy smiley people. <laughs> This video is such a mess. It's just me looking trash half the time, I feel. It was meant to be a presentable fashion week vlog. Clearly that, not the standard I'm upholding. And I've very excitingly since been invited to a presentation, the Anna Kuta Saka one. Buzzing, I love their brand. I've spoken about them on the channel and they're incredible, like upcycled Nike shoes. I'm really excited for that. And a lot of my friends are going. I'm gonna hop straight from the ceramics class in Stoke Newington to, I think it's in Central. And then I'm gonna go on to Jordan's and we're gonna record this podcast. I'm I literally can't speak. I can't speak. I'm packing a change of clothes for the show, obviously. <laughs> and I can't pottery paint in the goods, so I've got to do it all. My bag, I've gone for my Pringle bag and inspired by the recent Coach New York Fashion Week show, add some charms. I've also got a little badge that I'm going to add onto the denim sleeve and I'm wearing my tool belt today, so I thought the part of the tool belt, I can't speak. On the bag. Guys, I've literally do myself such a disservice. What is this? I literally feel like a mess. I'm not horrifically hungover though, thank God. Going for my massive trench, thrifted trench. Little jumper, it's from Aries. Peachy Den Cargos, my black salamons. I'll be wearing these later as well. This is what I'm wearing for now. I'm probably gonna have to dash my little tootsies to the tube in record time to get there. In my pretty girl era. Obsessed. Somehow I'm early. So I'm waiting on the street. It's literally on a neighborhood street waiting for Alex. <laughs> I'm stealing this top. Oh my! <laughs> no, the one with the bag. The one with the bag is kind of good. I could cut oh, that. Oh, that's cute. Wait, this was the plan, right? That was I the could, like, cut it out. Yeah, poses, poses with beer and never had beer in her life. Yeah, I hate it. She just bolted. She just bolted. Look at her nose. Oh, it's so cute. She went into work just to pick up this microphone. And I was like walking along with it, like, why is it serving clutch? Yeah, it's giving, like, I don't know, Rim Island clutch. 
them. Every time, like, <laughs> heeled sneakers on. Like, you know the business? It's very corp core. Yeah. Very corp core. Good morning. It's now Sunday and I completely forgot to show you my outfit yesterday when I changed for the Anku to Saka show. First and foremost, my favorite presentation I've ever been to, maybe my favorite fashion week thing I've ever been to, kind of like on par with Mithra Day. The presentation yesterday, un real theme was an airport they had the airport ugly carpet the benches just loved it like i was just in the vision and i was gagged and it was so 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 good i just had literally the best time me gloria and mariana were there and we were like oh my god this is so good and then i went to go record my podcast with jordan i think that went really well and i'm kind of hoping it goes up before this video so i can include some clips in there because i didn't film us when we were recording that was so much fun i love jordan what is up with this focus today i feel like it's being really annoying i obviously already know jordan so it's literally just two friends hanging out and i stayed way longer than i thought i would at the end we just had a couple drinks with her boyfriend and catched up and it was great and i'm so excited for that episode to come out and i just love jordan i know you're watching this jordan i love you i'm gonna link jordan's um podcast down below obviously and her main channel too because they're both so good ever since i went to jordan's yesterday i was asking her some youtube advice following that discussion I've now bought a microphone. I've also bought a new camera, a little ca um, vlogging camera, and I'm really excited about it. I've wanted to get a vlogging camera for the longest time. I found it on eBay on a bidding that ends tonight. So I've set an alarm on my phone to remind myself just in case anyone else bids higher than me and I can do a little bidding war in like the queue for a party or something, I don't know. Fingers crossed, I'm praying that all goes well and I get that camera. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, let me show you what I wore yesterday. Just some little black trainers. This skirt is old Topshop. Tool belt, my favorite thing. Went for my Y3 jacket. I found this off of Vintage. I just love this jacket. I feel like the jacket just makes it. It's got like a turtleneck going on. It's obviously got the hood, which is just everything. Hoods on things that shouldn't have hoods is like my favorite feature. Did also wear my Lexolas. Add a little satin, and I just love these. Do you like this outfit? Cause I do. I love it. Obviously with my red bag, added the badge on here as you saw yesterday. And I just love it. My Uber is like a minute away. So we're gonna have to do this quickly. The peachy den jumpsuit. I've charmified this buckle vintage belt with like loads of different things, which I think I kind of like. Black boots from Diembele. I'm wearing these Adidas sweatbands right now because I just kind of like the accessory of it. I might take it off later, we'll see. Bag is this one I just got from the charity shop. And I'm gonna wear my Jackie fur coat and I've got these vintage earrings that are my mum's or I think my grandma's to be honest. Justine Clinkett earrings and the other ones. Love. been so hungover today i had a nutritionist appointment in the morning so i've just basically been dying all day we're now going out i had to kind of convince myself to go i was gonna go and then i was like there's no way i just need to you can hear it in my voice i just need to sit in my bed and chill and sleep i'm going to the refi party they have an exhibition on right now in london it's kind of like a pop-up and they've got a little party i think i'm gonna hop on the tube to the perfect magazine issue six launch so i'm really excited changed my outfits a few times but i'm happy with this i kind of again just want to like be in the background <laughs> like don't see me that's why i'm wearing all black i'm just like gonna be in the shadows and i'm not gonna drink i literally don't want to smell a drop of alcohol for the next week i've consumed too much this weekend i think i'm just so bad on hangovers anyway this is what i'm wearing we've gone for the same bag again because i absolutely love it jackie co duh obviously we've gone for my knee high dress love this dress and i'm wearing it as a dress i think i've only worn it over trousers so far so i'm excited to christen it as it's 
true form. Same earrings as yesterday, my Justine Clinquette ones. Is it good? Is it okay? I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're not changing. I'm wearing little shorts underneath, but I think it's cute because it just literally looks like a super mini dress. The black tights, the new boxing boots, they're from Vinted. They're vintage from 60. They're the same as my other ones. I found them in a black and white colorway and I'm obsessed. I wanted black boxing boots for the longest time. Anyway, I feel cute. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and have a really good time and be back at a reasonable time and I'm gonna take you along for the journey. I'm gonna rock up alone. It's what I keep doing at the moment. And it's very empowering. I recommend it. This coat is a neutral to me. I'm like, she goes with everything. And I forget how intense it is. And then I catch myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I look like a big furry creature. Guys, we're doing it now. It's done. I can't stress myself out with another outfit change. Simple, so simple. You're so sweet, you're so nice. Make me scream every night. What's the tea? I got you clean for your mind If it's free, do it tight If it's in need, I will fight for you, girl You're my world You're me I'm home Do we want my honest opinion of the events? Do we want that? Does anyone want that? Both events were really, 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 really good Refi, the space was insane. I loved all of the accessories. They were stunning, like the hair clips, the mug sets. I thought like the chrome was lovely. The products are really good. I had a little look at them. I networked. I spoke to a few people. I made friends at the end with two managers. We just started chatting about the industry and like hearing things from their side. Then there was a goodie bag and I kind of thought, oh, maybe they're actually gonna give one. And then I was like, don't get your hopes up. Fat bag. The bag is way too big for what's inside. Me and the girls that I became friends with, we started to walk to the tube together and we were like looking at our goodie bags. I had like a notebook and a can of water as like my other thing. One of the girls had the mug set and I literally cried inside. I was literally thinking, do I walk back to the event and say, I'm so sorry if this sounds like up myself, but can I please swap my goodie bag? Cause I really, really, really want that mug set. Like I just fell in love with it. And I keep buying and collecting like fun homeware. And obviously I did my pottery painting class the other day and I'm just loving finding and making fun homeware for when I eventually move out, whenever that may be. Anyway, she let me switch it. She let me switch it. She's such a babe. Ah. I literally love it. Refi. This brings me so much joy. I literally feel over the moon that I have this. It's been the highlight of my night, I'm not even kidding. Then, I got the Lash Sculpt Mascara. I don't know, ooh, she chunky. She nice and chunky, I love their packaging. I forgot it's that one. I would say I'd put it on now, but I really CBA to, that's sick. Wait, what? I'm gonna try it tomorrow when I have more brain cells because I'm beyond shattered and I'm so mentally drained. <sighs> I had a lot of anxiety. I had some like work stress today as well and some personal life stress and I actually cried on the way to the free fire event. Anyway, then we, oh, I'm a mess. This is a pouch, which is adorable and I love collecting these. We have a little clip. I was hoping maybe they'd give us a clip because I loved the clips. Oh, I love that type of plastic wrap like that. I find it so satisfying. She's so crisp and sleek. Then I was going to the other event and turns out one of the girls was also invited and was kind of a bit like on the fence about going and I convinced her. And we went in together, which was so good because I was obviously preparing myself to go in alone. The mental rockiness that I felt tonight faced with, my outfit was good, it was cute, but like once I got in there, I was like, well, okay then. Like I literally could have pulled a number. Like I could have gone crazy with it. Oh my God, the venue was stunning. And like, thank God I was with my new friend because if I was alone, I literally, I don't know what, I, I literally don't, I don't know, I don't know. We ran into a model friend who was like, they won't let me in because I'm not with my manager. And I was like, oh no. And I got there and they were like, your name's not on the list. And I was like, cool, let me just go. And there's like all these cool, beautiful women behind me and I'm there like, mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I had to literally speak to three different people and then I said like my management team and finally the guy was like Oh, yeah, oh, I recognize you. Oh, no, come in, come in My friend was also having trouble getting in and they were like, oh, she with you? Oh, come, just come in and I was like So it is that easy uh, we, I think we queued for maybe half an hour I think to get in it wasn't terrible and it was quite exciting because there was a lot going on like celebs and right as we were like coming in I had like my refi bag I was like I look like a shopper and I was trying to like which queue am I in like who do I what's going on boom 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 flashing lights because photographers were taking pictures of someone I'm definitely in the back of some of those pictures like shell shocked in the back thank god I was with my new friend like I literally don't know what I would have done I, I probably could have turned back to be honest like I felt that overwhelmed we ran into someone that my friend knew and I ended up speaking to her she was so nice made friends with her and then we made friends with a girl who was standing by herself and I was like oh come sit down with us made friends with her moved to a different room ran into someone I know and then someone who was there this really really cool girl she was like oh I watch her on YouTube so I was started to chat to her and she introduced me to her friend and that was really nice and I definitely networked like I feel like tonight I did what I needed to do had a good time um and I was so close to not going so I'm proud of myself even though it's just a silly little influencer event like it's crazy I just feel so grateful to be in those rooms with the people around me and these industry professionals and just some of like the coolest people and I'm just like wow okay it's been a really good week and it's not over because tomorrow I have a Dr. Jar event look at the state of my room it's actually awful but the vibes have definitely picked up. There's nothing a good sleep can't do. Like I slept till half 10, which felt like a treat. Going out now for the Dr. Jart event. I'm gonna go with Tia and Ray. Then we're gonna go for a small bite to eat afterwards. We've both got work on tomorrow, so it's nothing crazy. We're just gonna go for a catch up and have a little dinner, which I'm really excited about. I wanted to wear something a little bit more exciting and I was getting changed in a rush. I'm really happy with this outfit. I feel like it's just chill. Got these hoops from no other than Pilgrim. This new jacket, I just got it from Depop. Top underneath, cause I wanna be warm and I don't like, these are so low waisted. Like we, we just, I don't want my midriff on show, okay? Let's just have this. Which kind of ruins it, but oh well. Then my jeans are from Aries. I'm so sorry about the state of my room. It's actually disgusting. I'm gonna go with my bag, brown tones. I've got on my brown boots from Diemble. Are we even surprised that I'm gonna wear my Jackie coat? I've also gotta go now drop off my Mythdere clothes that I wore for the show. Completely forgot today was the last day to return everything by 5 p.m. The vibes have definitely picked up. I feel like there's a way better way to end the video than last night. Last night I felt like crap. And I feel good. I feel good about life. In my world, you and me, we tie like the seams on your ties. When I dream, see you grind, even me, where I like, got your teeth out of sight. Can't believe you call me mine. Jar girls. Jar girls. Do you even jar? Do you jar? to show you what I got from the Dr. Jar event because that's the last time I spoke to you and I actually just used these products so Sika Pair probably said that wrong. The new product that we were like there for and stuff. This one I already opened it in the jar. Oh, look how like don't tell me that is an ice cream and I just want to go. I just used it because I was like brilliant let's go my face is all red and like I literally just feel like a horrible ill mess and I just went on a long walk and my face was so red from like the wind and like me blowing my nose I was like let's go I haven't cleansed my face today and I think there's a lot in those pores and it just sat on my face so badly so I need to use this again when I cleanse my face because it was not it did not look good but you know what did work was the so soothing treatment this little thing. I was really like picking my skin down here and just being bad to myself and it was really red and I put it on and now I feel like I don't think it's really red anymore and apparently this stuff is really good for after tattoos and that is my encouragement to go and get more tattoos because I have one that I'm certain on and then others I have in mind and I'm like why? Why haven't I gone and got it? And now I know that if I get it I have tattoo cream which is great and then this one see i don't need all this skincare and we all know my skin sensitive so i try and really not use anything i try to just stick to like a few things and this is intensive soothing repair treatment lotion so basically all the same thing they just do slightly different things i guess and i think i'm gonna give it to my boyfriend because i do not need three products from the same collection but there is just something about packaging that really gets me going because that that's sitting on my bathroom shelf, hello. Except I'm not gonna sit on my bathroom shelf, is it? 
gonna go on his but and you know what i am loving is that did i even show it in this video i don't think i showed it because i think i got it when i was ill hold on they're kind of wet because they were in my shower but um clinique sent me some skincare which is wild okay that is literally dripping on my floor that's disgusting take the day off they're like new i guess kind of like a makeup remove a skincare thing i had really good reviews about this my cousin uses it every day and she was telling me how good it is that's the mousse one i'm not crazy about that one i don't know about that one i think because i don't wear makeup that it's not doing as much do you know what i mean but then they sent me this the anti-blemish solutions cleansing gel guys i love this this is my new favorite cleanser i've been double cleansing with it just 10 10 like i just really 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 like this <laughs> that was my like unnecessary skincare rant i had such a good fashion week honestly it was so fun my anxiety was really high this week um for a lot of moments but i think it needed to happen like i needed to be anxious to go into an event alone and i just now see like it's really not that deep and a big thank you to organic basics for sponsoring i literally love them it's a dream come true don't forget you can use my code susielola10 for money off your order everything will be linked down below in the description thank you for watching subscribe down below if you haven't already follow me on my socials and i will see you in my next video